Eagles. We just finished up with karaoke. We were in there probably an hour and a half. I honestly don't understand why people get out of watching karaoke. Yes, I'm on a cruise. It's like nine in the morning. Let's get this day started off with some breakfast. So today is the like sixth or seventh day of the cruise and the last day, which is a day at sea. So we were spending all the time today just on the boat, not at any of the ports. And we're going to meet some friends that we met on the ship Atlantic right now Atlantic at a Atlantic. breakfast restaurant. just called their room at 9 in the morning. We met these people like two days ago. And this man feels it's okay to call I think he just gave him a wake up call. Photography, sir. What's up, Dylan? My lord. It's Clayton. 903? That gets closer, it's good third. The idea behind all of this thing was to meet up at 9, but and it is Connor decided to sleep in. Currently 9.14. Like 15 more minutes, so we're going to go give him a nice wake-up call. Do your worst. Is Connor here? <laughs> here at breakfast. Uh, before I do anything, I would like to personally apologize for the disgusting substance on my nose. I got a nasty sunburn right at the beginning of the week, and it just went downhill from there. Here we have our brand new, our new friends. This is Dylan. He's from Alabama, and this is Hannah. All right, so I figured I would take the time of this video to give the Carnival Splendor, the cruise ship I'm on right now, an in-depth review. So that's what we're doing right now. Me, Clayton, Connor, and Dylan are all heading to the front of the boat, and that's how we're gonna be getting to her. Here at the front of the boat, where you get beautiful views, it's pretty much a staple. You have to come to the front of the boat before you're done with the cruise. <laughs> gem on this cruise ship. You can run with a view, lift weights, do whatever you need, but honestly, who works out on a cruise? Come on, we're getting out of here. You got your basic pub putt course here, basically on every cruise ship. Here we got Clayton, let's see what you got, bud. First try. First take, oh, swimming pool number one with a slide. Pool number two. We got pool number three. If and when you're finished up with the pool, you got one of five hot tubs to choose from. Water park. You have access to pizza, cheeseburgers, 24-7. Hi, uh, can I get a cheeseburger? Thank you. There is literally no limit to the amount of food that you can get. I can't get over the way you're running through my mind. Finished up, solid, 9 out of 10. Then we're gonna go play some basketball though. Dude, Steph Curry, you're on this floor too? Steph Curry! 25-60. We, we call that kid Steph Curry because on the first day, of the first two days of the cruise, he wore a Steph Curry jersey. And I think he's actually Steph Curry's son, so we just call him Steph Curry. Oh, so nasty. Yeah, we're going to go play some basketball. <laughs> Later. It's dinner time. We're here at dinner. This is our magician that we have on the cruise. He does the best tricks out there. I'm gonna white and blue, yes? White and blue. I'm gonna show it in my fist. Don't show me, show the camera, show the camera. Don't talk for me. And show the lights off. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. And then also the, the chocolate melting cake. What? This is chocolate melting cake. If you ever go on a carnival cruise, it is like the dessert. You start by cutting out a nice little hole. Is it gooey? Scoop it out. And then with this ice cream, scoop. <laughs> that concludes our last dinner on this ship. Later. I also forgot to mention that this cruise boat has a library. But why the heck would you need it? It's not like your psychology teacher is going to give you a huge assignment over spring break and like make you come back and act out a bunch of disorders and then fill out a huge packet. That's crazy talk! We are in the library to play some cards for a little bit and then I think we are meeting up with our friends shortly after this. Bye everyone dinner. What a guy. <laughs> hey, it's my lead. We're on a goose chase all around this whole boat. We keep finding people that we know. Well, we're looking for Clayton and Taylor. And we keep finding people that we know. And we ask them where they are. And they all have seen them in a different spot. So we're even all around the boat looking for Taylor and Clayton. One thing I forgot to mention was the endless ice cream on cruise ships. Now, usually I'll eat a decent amount of ice cream at home. And I've always loved ice cream as a kid. So just coming on a cruise ship and you know like having an endless supply, it's really just something to be proud of and something I love. So I mean I mean I come on cruise ships all the time and I, I love eating ice cream. So just coming here and eating ice cream, it just really makes me happy. <laughs> We found Clayton and all of his friends in the karaoke place. This is like a, our third night in this in this place. Here's to you guys. Travel safe tomorrow, and God bless you. Thank you. Yeah. And go Eagles. We just finished up with karaoke. We were in there for like an hour and a half. I honestly don't understand what people get out of watching karaoke. What's the prize? I'm excited. Oh! Alright. Here is... It's a monkey ring. Yeah! Let's go! It's time to go to bed. Hey, see you guys later. I'm going to bed. Bye, everybody. No, 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 no. Give me a hug. No, no, you can't leave. Okay, my battery's about to die. Thank you all for watching this episode. Peace out, and we will see you all next time.